good day to dr zaki and my fellow friends today we are from team 5 we will be presenting about steam cracking here we have listed down the chemical and physical property of butadiene at atmospheric condition butadiene exists as a colorless gas but it is liquefied either by cooling to negative 4.4 degree celsius or by compressing to 2.8 atmosphere here we can have a look on the definition of steam cracking steam cracking is the main method of breaking down large molecule of hydrocarbon in which a gas of liquid hydrocarbon is diluted with steam and then heated there are three steam cracking units which are hot sections compression sections and cold section for the hot section it includes the furnace the primary fractionator and the cranes as for the compressor section, it involves the compressor and the caustic scrubber and the dryers. As for the cold section, it is the part of the unit where the pyrolysis products are separated. It includes the demethanizer and the diethanizer, the depropanizer and the debutanizer. Here we can have a clear view about the steam cracker units which are pyrolysis furnace, quencher, scrubber, dryer and etc. This would be the steam cracker pathway which starts from the naphtha and ends up with the main product and pyrolysis gasolines. As for the reaction and condition, steam cracker uses the naphtha or the gas oil fraction as the feed salt as well as the simple hydrocarbon like ethene, propane and butene. Firstly, condition 1. These are vaporized and mixed with steam and pass through a reactor heated to about 800 to 900 degrees celsius as for the second condition the pressure of the mixture is around one atmosphere and for the third condition the gas flow is very very fast so that the mixture only remains in the reactor for less than a second this is to prevent the hydrocarbons cracking to produce carbon as for the reaction equation it can be closely related to the chemistry of thermal cracking which involves initiation propagation and termination here we can have a look on the equations. Hi, uh, my name is Iman. So, okay, so for the cracking, they have actually two types of process, which is the steam cracking and also the catalytic cracking. So, actually, for the catalyst, steam cracking, uh, there are no specific reference that use catalyst, which is basically a steam, uh, but for the catalytic cracking, there are specific uh, catalyst usage which is uh, zeolite. So, um, actually, uh, the difference between the steam and the catalytic is that uh, steam produces high yields of alkenes, while for the catalytic cracking, is uh, which uh, a catalyst is employed, uh, which produces high yield of branch and cyclic alkenes. So. Um, so at uh, the figure on the right is basically uh, a catalytic cracking uh, description process uh, in which that uh, a catalyst uh, allows uh, the low reaction temperatures to be used and if the ZSM5 which is uh, a zeolite types is chosen uh, the product yield will increase so the temperature, residence times and the catalyst determine the product proportions and after the cracking, uh, the catalyst is separated from the products uh, regenerated by burning of deposited carbon in air in 900 Kelvin and subsequently recycled. So now moving on to the comparison of butadiene production through steam cracking. So basically, there are three raw materials involved in the production of butadiene through steam cracking, which is propane, butane, and naphtha. So uh, in the production of butadiene through steam cracking, propane and propane and butane uh, needs a temperature of around 750 to 900 degrees Celsius, while naphtha needs uh, the operating temperature between 750 to 850 degrees Celsius. And all of these three uh, raw materials need a pressure uh, around 2 to 4 bar to operate. And for the residence times, propane and butane uh, consume around 0 0.1 to 10 seconds of residence times uh, depending on the feedstocks, while naphtha it needs a very short time in between 0 0.08 to 0 0.25 seconds. 
Okay, currently, uh, this is the typical uh, percentage product yields by mass from steam cracking for various hydrocarbon feedstocks, as listed in the table, which consists of ethane, propane, naphtha, and gas oil. And at the left hand side, we can see the product uh, from the steam cracking process, which also include betadine. And roughly, we can see that betadine production is is very low compared to the others. But knowing that beta that in uh, market price and its applications is very, very good and very uh, outstanding, uh, so a proper and good treatment on this product is very crucial. Finally, these are some examples of beta dye-in plant uh, existed all around the world. So firstly, we have BP Amarco, which located which is located at Grange Mouth, Scotland, with a capacity of 150,000 ton per year. And next, we have Elzone Mobile, which, which is located at Baytown, Texas. Uh, this plant produces approximately 3.8 million tons of ethylene a year, apart from producing propylene and butadiene. Um, actually, we are we we not we not discovered yet the exact butadiene production, but um. Betadine is uh, treat, treated as a uh, byproduct in this plant. And last but not least, we have valves which located its betadine uh, plant at Antwerp, Belgium, with a capacity of 155,000 metric tons per year. And that's all from us. Thank you.